everybody, welcome back. Um, haven't done this video, should have done this video um, a while ago, but I've kind of just kept on forgetting. Um, so as you would have seen in the title, I got some new sheep. Um, so I've had them for about a week now, I just haven't had time to um, film it and tell you kind of how I got them and all that. So here they are, just these two. They were um, just sheared when we got them. Um, and Larry hasn't been sheared yet. He needs to. Um, so they're both weathers, so they're both male, um, just like Larry. Um, they're not the same breeds. They are a bit smaller. Um, so they're about six months old and Larry's five months old. So they are month old sorry okay buddy um yeah so we got them from our um seriously bro from somebody we know just a farmer up the road um just further that way can you not? Anyway, since these are, they're, um, they were the farmer's pets, so they were kind of, Larry, they were raised by, um, um, raised by people, they were bottle fed, so they are really friendly, you can go up to and pat them. Why are you rubbing against me? Anyway, so, um, this one here, um, Larry. Um, okay, come here. So this one here, he's um, a little bit more afraid of me. This one's a lot, a bit more um, friendlier. But as you can see, they come right up to you. They are very afraid of dogs, so um, that doesn't really help. And they're eating my shoelaces. So this one here with the larger horns, if I lift his head up, this one. He... This is Bucky. He, he still, since he was bottle fed, he uh, still sucks on your fingers. <laughs> Even though he's fully weaned off. But anyway. What is it with... Okay. No. This one here. <laughs> Come here. This is um, Thor. He's got his horn kind of... I think when he was younger, it must have like broken off. So his horns are a lot small, sh like shorter than his. Um, and if I lift his head up, come here, buddy. Um, yeah, he's really friendly. He's trying to eat me. Oh, he's falling asleep. They're a bit tired. Um, yeah, as you can see, the their horns are different um, than Larry's. Larry's kind of goes closer back to his head. This kind of group. Oh bless you. Oh a bit gross. There's kind of goes out and Larry's kind of goes um, further back around his head. Um so they do have their house there. Do you have to eat me? So they still have their house there. And can can, can I have my fingers back? Um so they've got their house there and all that. But I can't keep them in their pen. They just jump straight over it. So, um, it is annoying because sometimes when I go out to go get them, they just, they're just hidden in the bushes somewhere. But usually if they see me, they come running out. Don't you? Larry, don't eat me. You're a weird one. You're a weird one. Alright. And I also got, since Larry's the leader of them, everywhere I go, Larry will come. And they always follow, follow Larry, so. I is itching like a dog, because he's got a collar on. I know. Um, so I got this leather collar. Move your head. Um, it's like a large, I think. And it fits him really well. It's nice and loose, so it's not tight. And it can, 
It's on the last. If it moves over, it's on the move, buddy. Last hole, so it's really loose, and when he gets sheared. Okay, when he gets sheared, um, I will just have to tighten it then. Can you? I'm not talking about you at the moment. Um, so if they're out in the paddocks, they don't usually go far. But if I need them to come, um, follow me. You just okay. Um, I just put him on the lead, and they'll follow me anywhere. Um, they're weird. And Larry is, he doesn't like my boot, I back up. Rightio then. Hello. So I got these guys last week. Um, seriously. And at first, when I first bring them in, Larry didn't know what they were. He didn't understand why they kind of looked like him. Um, and he was actually running away from them. So he was, he was like scared of them because he wasn't sure what, it, what they were. But now he's um, gotten used to them. And he just, wherever he goes, they'll be there. But they... The minute we let them in, because they are, we did change paddocks because this one has more trees, um, lots of little trees. I'm not a scratching post. Um, so when we first let them in, they were in the paddock over there, they started eating grass straight away. And there was Larry eating hay in his house, so they definitely eat more grass than Larry, but seriously, I don't know what it is about my shoe, but they've just slobbered on it. Um, but they eat so much more grass than Larry, I think because Larry was raised with dogs, he thinks he is a dog. Um, so we do really need to shave him. I'll give him a little shear because like that's getting quite long um so but he has definitely lost a bit of weight um over the week because they've been he was just in the pen by himself in the paddocks getting moved once a week but now they're in the whole paddock just these three and they um and he eats a lot more grass and doesn't eat as much junk food but I'm pretty sure they're quite thirsty because they were in their pen and then they jumped out so I reckon they're quite dehydrated because we do have a dam over there but I haven't seen them drink out of that before so I don't think they know how to so I don't really need this fencing up because they don't actually go in there But anyway, I want to show them their water. Yeah, thought they'd be thirsty. That's why they must have been kind of dipped in there because they're dehydrated. Um, anyway, so I, when I first got them, I couldn't really pat them or anything or put like a halter on them or anything. But now I can and they follow me anywhere. Hey, you're thirsty. Alright. Um. Hey, Larry. And also, since on Friday, it's Sunday today, on Friday we had really bad weather. It was 44 degrees outside. And it was, like, really bad weather. It was windy. And I bring the sheep into the yard so I can... Um, keep a closer look at them and Larry it's not as bad today it's kind of healed but his eye got dust in it and like sand hello and um, come here. and it was really inflamed and it was all watery but it's seeming much better today I've just had to keep a real close eye because you can see there wasn't any pus or anything but 
you can see here it's just all wet because um, he was like kind of tearing up a lot and he was all wet here but he could barely even open his eye but today um, he's looking much better um, but if there was pus coming out of it I'd be a lot more worried but um, what are you doing? Um, but he seems to be better so I did like wipe it down and get any sand around it off but what is it with you and eating my fingers um yeah so they're definitely thirsty they got water in there hey guys hey buddy hey buddy yeah let's get that out anyway so they're settling in super well and yeah but we definitely need to get Larry sheared before because it is summer now and we had that one real hot week and he was just so hot and these guys were cool because they were all sheared off um, and you can see he does squint his eye a bit um, it's still a bit inflamed, but it's not as bad as it was the other day. Anyway, so that's what I do for feed. Um, they're all off, well, not all, but Larry is off lamb pellets, who's now eating the fence. Um, they just get um, hay in the morning, uh, I mean, in the afternoon, and in, I know they get hay in the morning and some of this in the afternoon what I do is I just, I just give them a bit of uh, chaff uh, oats wheat and a tiny sprinkle of lamb pellets and that's just like a little treat for them and make them like me and it's really worked so yeah that's pretty much all Larry does wander off um, sometimes to just be by himself and um, while they eat grass. But I did also break their house um, the other day when I was moving it out here. The bottom a bit that was supposed to go along here snapped off. Um, and I took the gate off. And I think the gate's over there um, but you can like put the rope around there and there and still drag it pretty easily and also I think it was yesterday their house flipped over backwards and yeah so it was really hard to push back over but I did it um, anyway so they like they really like all this shade um, and in winter there's this little dip here, there's always water in there, but in summer there isn't. But they're mainly just eating um, in the shade. They don't really go out out far into the paddocks too much because um, I could try and stay close to their home. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I also did uh, a couple of days ago. I did. Um, so weird. Uh, I did clip the new, the two, um, or all of them, all their hoofs. I just trimmed them a little bit to see if I could even do it. And all I did was have uh, my friend held them. And I just, instead of even, I didn't even need to flip them on their backs. I just lifted their legs up like I do with Larry. But, and... They were um, pretty good because they had been done not too long ago. But it's good to know that I can lift up their feet without them going crazy. And they were pretty good. So that's it for today. Um, I'll keep you guys all updated and I'll see you all next time. Bye.